Hey second channel, it's Ray here and welcome back to my second channel. Now today's video is gonna be a Dollar Tree haul. And this video is a little bit different because not only is it art supplies, things that I use for drawing, I also bought some stationary things, some office things, and honestly I bought a lot of stuff for myself because I thought it was cute. You guys know I am very cheap. I don't care if it comes from the Dollar Tree. If it works, it works, you know what I mean? And by the way, guys, before we get into it, uh, for my second channel, I don't have a set upload schedule like I do my main channel. So I highly encourage you guys to hit the subscription button as well as the notifications. That way, every single time I upload a second channel video, you guys get notified. But yeah, with that being said, guys, I hope you guys don't mind that there's other stuff besides just art supplies in this video. And yeah, with that being said, guys, let's get this party started. So the very first thing that I got that I was actually really shocked that the Dollar Tree had were these Crayola number no. 2 pencils. They're pre-sharpened, they're latex-free erasers, and it's six for one dollar. As an artist, I'm always, always, always needing pencils. I'm always reaching for pencils. I'm always throwing away pencils, getting new pencils. And I trust Crayola with my soul. And I've never seen them make regular pencils before, but look how cute these are. Absolutely adorable. The colored erasers, adorable. So yeah, I thought these were really fun. I could always use good pencils and I thought, you know, only a dollar, I'll pick them up. Now, this next item is one of those back to school items that I wish I had growing up. This is a Jot pencil sharpener. It's in turquoise and it comes with not just the pencil sharpener, but eraser toppers too. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna pick this up and even if I don't use it, I could always donate to the local school that I always donate to. This is so cool The Dollar Tree is having this. Now, earlier I had mentioned that you can find things at the dollar store that are like literally six times the price at Hobby Lobby for the exact same thing. And this is the item that I mean. These are the Crafters Square Six Artist Palettes. And basically, these are little tiny palettes that I use in almost every single one of my videos over and over and over again. These are my ride and die. They will work with any kind of paint. They are only a dollar and every single time that I see these at Dollar Tree, I buy these. Now the next item I thought would be useful because I work from home, I love to take notes. I'm always printing things out for like my accountant or my taxes or my business. I'm always doing stuff on my computer and I could be a little bit bougie about it, you know? So this is 24 sheets of computer paper. And it kind of has like this golden art deco-y kind of feel to it, which I thought was so, so beautiful. I love, love, love the art deco art style. And so when I saw this, I could just envision me at the computer, like typing out these important notes and printing it out on this bougie paper, like kind of have like a great Gatsby kind of moment, you know? These are so cute. They're so cool. And I just thought it would be fun to like make very mundane tasks fun. So I picked this up $1. Now you guys know I am not the biggest fan when it comes to Dollar Tree sketchbooks. So a little sneaky trick is that if you get poster board like this, as you can see, the sheets are pretty big. And what I'll do is I'll sand it down with little sandpaper that they sell at the Dollar Tree. They're like these little sponges with sandpaper. And guys, let me tell you, once you do this and you prep your paper, it becomes so good. Once you sand off that shiny part, it basically turns into 110 pound drawing paper. Of course, it's not as perfect or as smooth, but I have done so many videos where I've sanded down poster board. If you don't wanna buy a sketchbook, maybe you live in a small town like I did that didn't really sell sketchbooks for a long time, poster board is the place to go. Now this next thing I actually regret buying because I just remembered now that when I've used them in the past, they're not that great. Dollar Tree sells the ink mechanical pencils for only $1. They are so good. I've used them literally, literally the whole entire time I've been on YouTube, but I couldn't find any this trip. So instead I bought the Jot mechanical pencils, which I have used these in the past and they break, they're loud, they're shaky. They're not made very well. In fact, let me just shake one right now and you guys can see how loud and janky these things are. <laughs> you see what I mean? They're just not the best in quality. Back in my early days when I was much more heavier handed, I have had these pencils where I would literally be drawing and then I would break them from snapping them. So I'm definitely going to give these away to the local school that I'm always donating to. Now this next item, it was so, so, so unnecessary. It's an art supplies I literally do not need at all whatsoever, but it's so cute, it's so bougie. And this is a $1 pom-pom pen. 
I love cute office supplies because sometimes I don't feel like working, I don't feel like doing tax things or business things, and little cute things like this, they just keep me going, you know? Now that we have all of the office and drawing supplies out of the way, we're gonna move to the next thing. Honestly, it's just stuff that I wanted. So, yeah. <laughs> Now, in case you guys haven't noticed, I am a candle fanatic. I am one of those people that's always like, go, 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 always stressed out, always overthinking things. I have dealt with my stress in the past in very, very negative ways. And one thing that I have found that has really, really, really helped out my stress levels and helped me enjoy my space is candles. I, oh, oh God, I love aromatherapy i love smelling i love the process i love the lights i love the crackling like i love a good candle if we're gonna be honest here i have spent way too much on candles this year and i'm a little bit ashamed if we're gonna be honest but i found some from the dollar tree that i thought were so fun actually you know what there's one more candle i forgot to show you guys it's a plastic wrapped warm yeah Oh God, why am I was dropping everything? This is a plastic wrapped marble, warm flannel scent, which is really, really nice. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little sketched out because it's literally like wrapped in plastic. I'm afraid the jar is gonna get too hot and it's gonna melt the plastic onto God knows whatever item I put this on. So even though I like this candle, I feel like this is a little sketchy, if I'm gonna be honest. Now, speaking of aromatherapy and smelling good and having like the nice warm house smell, they sell these wax melting cubes and they have all kinds of them for only a dollar. I picked up the apple cinnamon. Oh my God. And I know it's kind of like a basic girl kind of thing to be like, oh, I love fall. But honestly, I don't care. Like I said, this year has been terrible. We need to move on to the next one. So yeah, apple cinnamon. I got the fresh linen. This one's okay. It kind of smells like a weird citrusy kind of smell. I don't know. I don't like that one. And I picked up pina colada slash lemon lime. So like in the dead of winter when I'm like over fall in the cold, I can have like a nice summer smell. This one smells incredible. So if you're into an easy, cheap, low maintenance way to make your room or your house smell good, wax melts are the way to go, especially if they're from Dollar Tree and they're only a dollar. Now, I guess you can say that the Dollar Tree, she snapped. Now, if any of you guys are on TikTok or like keep up with like fashionable things, these little clips, thank God, are finally, finally, finally back in. They're not just for like little kids anymore. They are like now a fashion accessory of the world. In my opinion, they are so much better than bobby pins. They are so much easier to use. And the colors are very subtle, but still very glamorous. And yeah, you get eight hair clips for only $1. And I just thought these were so cute. I could see myself using these for like fashion videos. Uh, fashion videos, like I've ever made a fashion video in my life. When I'm by myself, I like to pretend I'm like this super fabulous high fashion model, but in reality, here we are. <laughs> so if you guys are interested, Dollar Tree sells these clips in so many different colors for only $1. Now, my birthday was on July 23rd, and I understand that it's not an appropriate time for like a party or anything like that. So on my birthday, I went hiking in the deep woods in the middle of nowhere. And, and if you've ever gone hiking in the deep woods, you guys know you need really long, good socks. They're super cute, they're super large, they're super thick, amazing quality for only $1. And to be honest here, they worked incredible when it came to hiking. I had absolutely no problem. And they do have other styles that I can't remember off the top of my head, but I just thought these were so cute and I could not believe they were only $1. Holla for a dollar. Now, speaking of useful, but really, really cute, Dollar Tree recently started selling these adorable little dog clip chip containers, which I thought were really, really cute. It seems like every single time I open a bag of chips in my house, for some reason, I never have these around. So I finally just got tired of it and was like, screw it, I'm buying more. So yeah, absolutely adorable. Now this next item, I am so mad about. I have stairs in my apartment that Bowie, my dog, her hair gets all over. And it's such a tight little area that the hairs get stuck in that you can't vacuum it up. So instead you get a squeegee to go in the little cracks and scoot, scoop out some of the hair. Well, you guys, I went to Walmart and I bought a squeegee for $3. And within a day of using it, it broke. 
So when I went to Dollar Tree and I found literally the exact same thing for only a dollar, I was so mad that I wasted my money the first time on the $3 squeegee. It doesn't even have to be stairs, any kind of carpet, if you rub the squeegee on, it's gonna get rid of all the hairs. It's like a miracle and I highly, highly, highly recommend. And this last thing guys, it is so, so, so cute. Oh my goodness, I could not believe the Dollar Tree had this. So it may come as a surprise to some of you guys, but I wear glasses. And if you have glasses and oily skin, you know that one touch to your glasses, it's gonna smear. So I picked up this microfiber cleaning towel and how adorable and cute is it? It's a little duck and it is so adorable. And so basically it's like a little towel that you put your fingers in like this and every time you get your phone dirty, your glasses dirty, you just spray it with some solution, clean it off a little bit, bada bing, bada boom. There you go. Absolutely so cute. Uh, so yeah guys, that is the end of my Dollar Tree office slash drawing slash cute stuff haul. I will leave a playlist of all my other hauls down below as well as my main channel. And yeah, with that being said, thank you guys so much again for watching and I will see you next video. 